I've been shopping. <laughs> what's new welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm going to be a little bit naughty with this video because i'm going to title it poundland haul that was my intention for this video to be all about poundland however it's probably not my biggest poundland haul i have got a few other bits from wilco's next TK Maxx and Hobbycraft, all kind of autumn related stuff. So if you're a fan of autumn, then stay tuned for the end of the video, i.e. post Poundland haul, where you'll see me unbox all of those goodies as well. Some fun little DIYs that I have as well, planned in for the fall autumn season, which is so exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with showing everything I did pick up from Poundland. They had quite a good selection of stuff not too much autumn-y stuff yet so hoping that a few more bits come into store so we'll see we'll see um i will be keeping my eyes peeled for more stuff moving forward i might even do a vlog next time i go in so you can actually see what's in store along with anything that i do pick up as always with my poundland hauls i like to pick up one of the charity scratch cards that they have on at checkout now this time she asked me, she said, which one would you like either of these two? And I said, well, I can't, now that you've shown me both, I can't leave one. So I opted for just both of them. So stay tuned again for the end of the video to see if we are a winner. What I'll try and do is tell you things that maybe weren't a pound, because obviously now it's getting more and more confusing with Poundland with not everything being a pound. So yeah, let's start with this one for instance, because this one was actually five pounds. Still a bargain in my opinion. It's this beautiful macrame style cushion, indoor or outdoor. I've seen this styled up on Instagram in a few people's homes, so I was keeping my eyes peeled for it. I ended up just picking up the one for now. It's 43 by 43 centimeters. The inner isn't choppable or anything like that, so you could definitely um, maybe look to refill it with problem you can't look to refill it with a feather cushion because there's no way of getting into it it is um how annoying i hate it when cushions are like this you can't zip it open problem i suppose you could easily just kind of unstitch empty out put a different cushion in and restitch but anyway this i'm thinking of just actually having as a decorative throw on my bed in the middle so in fact let me just pop it there now so you can see what it will look like just kind of sat place like so in the middle of the bed i feel like it kind of goes with this throw probably even more so than the primark cushions i've got either side which are a bit creamier although this does have cream and white thread running throughout at this throw so yeah what do you think but anyway this is purchase number one i also picked up this organizer it's an expanding box file this was three pounds and i like the kind of just brown paper black hardware to this just nice and simple opens up and expands so obviously you can store loads of bits in here which is really really handy for like a home office of which both myself and tom are self-employed so we do work from home okay so this is a notebook so we'll keep on the stationary theme how pretty is this cover with it having the subtle black kind of striped design there i really like it gold notebook just written there nice and simple in design definitely not something that you'd imagine is in poundland now this was actually three pounds which is fine it's like standard i suppose it's quite a fairly good price um but it's also plain which is quite unusual for a notebook obviously most notebooks are lined so if you prefer like mind mapping sketching doodling whatever then this might be quite a good little notebook for you then i also picked up this little herb garden planters for herbs and these are in the garden section at only a pound i kind of just like that rustic kind of look to it I'm thinking of a little bit of a upcycle slash DIY for autumn for this one. I'm thinking of doing a full video with some DIY ideas. So stay tuned for that if you want to see some of the things that I create. So I did in fact pick up some clothing, the first of which I'm actually wearing, this t-shirt. I already own one of these t-shirts from the men's section in the Pep & Co. So if your Poundland has a clothing section, it's just like a grey mild t-shirt, just rolled up the sleeves. This is in an XL and I also picked up yet another one because honestly I just live in these. These kind of t-shirts, oversized t-shirts, 
with leggings like my everyday attire. So these were reduced down from £2.50 to £1.25 half price. Then I also picked up these two in the sale from again £2.50 down to £1.25 in the men's and they're just two plain black vests. They only had large in this, which is quite oversized, but my intention with this is literally just for a little bedtime top with some of my own like kind of pajama shorts or whatever. And then I picked up two jumpers, the first of which is a hoodie at nine pounds. I got it in a large, and again, so it's nice and long and comfy and relaxed fit on me. And it just has this kind of embroidered on the front, pour toujours Paris. So there we go. Slightly shorter at the front, which I love when it does that, and longer at the back, and a little slip side panel as well. It's actually quite thin, so quite a nice one to wear at this time of year. And then I also picked up this one, which I liked the embroidery on this one. It just says Manhattan, New York City, in white. This is just a really clean, crisp brand new white sweatshirt with the little cap sleeve detail as well. This one I got in a uh, extra large and it is eight pounds. And then last for the clothing, this is actually a impulse on the checkout purchase. They had loads of different socks. These ones were a pack of five for two pound 50 and they've got a few different designs, most of which are this kind of gray and white stripe. They've also got a plain gray, some spotty as well. So yeah, then I got some snacks. I got these. I don't think I've ever tried these ones before. They're obviously just a Lotus Biscoff biscuit, but not your standard one. It's also got Belgian chocolate on the bottom. I also got some of our fave cereal. We go through this far too quickly as a dessert, an evening snack. You know on those evenings that you don't really fancy a big evening dinner, like maybe if you've had a nice big lunch? We're cereal lovers, so yeah, we go through that far too quickly. It's two pounds, that one. And then they also have a free from range now with a load of gluten-free products and some chocolates, cookies, crisps, all sorts. So I saw these within that range. It's vegetable snacks with character. Creamy dill hummus chips. They are delicious. I've had them before and really, really like them. And then these are new as well. They actually have three different flavors of what they call combos. So it's essentially these little packets of chocolate treat type things, but mixed in with popcorn as well. So they have Aero and Rolo, which I picked up, but the one I really wanted and couldn't find so fingers crossed for next time, is Milky Bar. I love Milky Bar chocolate. Then I also picked up this because I've tried the Betty Crocker uh, cookies mix that they do, the little packet mix, and they're really, really good. So I thought I would try the brownie one. Tempting brownie, tempting chocolate brownie mix. Then I also picked up this Hessian bunting, which I saw, I think it was around spring, Easter time, but, well, I'd seen it online, but I'd never seen it in store. So when I finally found it, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up anyway. Whether or not I use it this year, maybe I could do a little autumn fall DIY with it or keep it for spring next year. I would say fall just because I get so much inspiration from America with the whole autumn decor. Uh, but anyway, I also picked up this for my car. It's a little car air freshener in the scent Oud from White Emporium. And it's a little kind of, I think I've shown these before, but it's a little, bottle that you just hang. Oh, I did pick up something for Barney, just this little dog treat ball. So I'm always trying to find ways to keep him occupied in the house and mentally stimulated. So I quite like getting interactive toys where they can have to like work to try and get the treats out. And this is one of them. So obviously you can just have it as a ball and have a bit of fun with this but it does have a little treat dispensing hole at the bottom that you can just put little treats in and they have to roll it around and try and get it out. So yeah, hopefully he'll love that. And I think they had these in green as well. I did pick up one cleaning product and it's from Fabulosa, which to be completely honest with you, I tend to opt more for Zaflora, but Fabulosa now have such a wide range of products other than the just the box standard disinfectant um, liquid. So this is a multi-surface polish for dusting and shining in the scent wait for it da, da, da. cinnamon swell which just sounds amazing so we're nearly out of my mr sheen uh, wood polish for our table in the front room so i thought i would 
um, try this. Anyway, I did pick up one book. So it's called Really Professional Internet Person by Jen McAllister. She's better known as Jen X Pen. She's been obsessed with making videos since she found her parents' video camera at the age of eight. Chronicling Jen's journey from an anxious middle schooler just trying to fit in to a YouTube sensation unafraid to stand out. I feel like I could kind of relate to this in that it's the sort of following the story of how in school it was like didn't really know what she wanted to do and then found YouTube and even myself like I can relate to the whole making home videos from a really young age because I used to do that too. And then last but not least from Poundland I picked up these storage paper bags which I thought were really cool like I've never seen these before in Poundland. I got two designs there was a third design as well but I went for the marble one and these star and polka dot prints one. I thought this one in particular could be good for Christmas gifts, almost as like a little sack of gifts that you could fill up. So that is everything that I did pick up from Poundland. So I feel like we'll do the scratch cards first before moving on to the other autumn -y home decor bits that I got, which I feel like some of them you're gonna love. Okay, let's go with this one first with the cute little kitten on. So match three prizes to win. To be honest with you, I very rarely have won on these, you'll see if you watch my previous videos. Um, but I see it as doing my bit for charity because they are charity cards. Oh, no win on that. So bonus game find a star to win. And it's not a star. Okay, so next card. Again, match three. No. Find a star to win. Yay, it's a star. Yay, we got a winner. One pound so I made my money back on that card anyway okay so that is everything from pound now let's move on to Wilco's I got one item prepare yourself if you're a pumpkin spice lover like me these are currently half price in Wilco's from seven pounds down to three pound fifty and they're the Glade plugins but in the limited edition of pumpkin spice latte so they also had the refills available i can't remember how much they were but i decided to just get the um actual plug in and plug it's also got like a beige top to it i just how could i not pick this up this is me all over and then i also went into next and yet again only picked up one item so i thought i would include it within this video too <gasps> So it's a really nice dark rusty orange colour with the rim as well. And it has written on the front, hello pumpkin. I just love it so much. They've got different kind of pumpkins and squashes on it in this kind of rustic farmhouse style. I just really like it. Some cosy hot chocolates, I'm thinking this, loads of squirty cream, some cinnamon dusted on top. This is a bit of me. Six pound, I thought it was a um, pretty good price. I've seen some really nice, looking mugs as well but they're priced from about 15 pounds plus and i'm always just a little bit like ugh, at spending more than 10 pounds on a mug okay let's move on to tk maxx now because i have already done an autumn home sense tk maxx haul if you did miss it and wanted to check it out then be sure to do so so um yeah in the meantime i've just collected a couple of items which i thought i would also include within this video okay i'm going to show you this one first because i have a little bit of an explanation for it but anyway i got this ceramic salt and pepper shaker set two piece includes two pumpkin gold salt and pepper shakers which is so cute i did really really like them until i spotted these ones so i am actually going to return these they were 3.99 as were these ones and i just prefer the style of these ones so um this comes with a little pumpkin and i like the fact that they are white with just a hint of gold so a little pumpkin and also a little squash. So again, they look different as well. One's got two holes and one's got three. So you can differentiate salt from pepper. Although salt usually just has the one hole, doesn't it? But anyway. Um, I know this one's two holes and three holes as well. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong in saying that. I always thought salt just had the one. In fact, I mean for £3.99, rather than take them back, I'll just give these to one of you guys. So if you like them, just... Message me on my Instagram homeware account, Freya Farrington Home, for these if you want them. And uh, yeah, just let me know and I'll post them out to you. Then I picked up these uh, room or drawer fragrance sachets, set of six in orange and cinnamon. I like the fact that it's orange and cinnamon. 
because it's not too, it's a little bit festive, it's a little bit autumn, it's not too sickly. It's that kind of spicy but also quite fresh and citrusy. So yeah, really nice. And they were 2 99 not bad. That's actually really good. When you think of the Primark prices, they're like one to £1.50 per sachet. So you get six in here for 2 99 that's really good. Then I got this pumpkin, which is completely see-through. It is glass, and it's got a little bit of foliage within the middle, and it also does light up. So there are fairy lights within there, but I have to pop in some batteries first. It's got little pine cones, little uh, white kind of berries, and then also a little white pumpkin in there as well. So I'm gonna put some batteries in and this one was 9.99. Then I also got this for the kitchen, this little pumpkin. I kind of try to steer clear from the Halloween stuff and prefer more the autumn stuff. because I feel like you can prolong autumn decor for a couple of months, whereas Halloween stuff, I feel like you could only really have out for a week or two. But anyway, this is a nice little pumpkin gold stand that you can pop hot plates on. My point with the Halloween things is that they also had different designs, but they were Halloween-y themed. So they had like cobwebs and stuff, skulls as well. So yeah, I ended up opting for the pumpkin at 3 dollars They also had them in like a gunmetal kind of finish as well. Okay, then the last thing that I got from TK Maxx was actually from the clothing section. I don't know if this is menswear or women's wear, but I got it anyway. It's from the brand LS. LLS, is that how we pronounce it? The kind of like sportswear brand, bit of a vintage vibe here, 90s. Um, so these online, I know they do them on ASOS for about £40. So these were £19.99 in TK Maxx. They had loads of different styles, colours, designs. This was the most subtle in design and also, in my opinion, the nicest colour. It's a really pretty stone. Pretty. Can you describe stone as pretty? I don't know. Sweatshirts, the more the merrier, in my opinion. Just to be honest with you, it could only take one dog walk to end up trashing it anyway. Okay, Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft isn't a shop that I tend to go in all too often, other than maybe seasonally. So I was very pleasantly surprised with their range of stock. They had some Christmas bits out already. They had loads of like Halloween and autumn stuff. And yeah, so I ended up picking up this ceramic white pumpkin. I need to find a receipt actually so I can tell you how much everything was, but I think this one was five pounds. Okay, yeah, this is the most expensive thing that I got at five pounds. And it is, like I said, a ceramic pumpkin. I guess the intention is you could maybe DIY, you could paint, you guys know me. I'm keeping this white. Um, you could maybe do like a Ray Dunn inspired font on there, like saying fall or autumn or spooky if you wanted it to be Halloween themed. I honestly like the simplicity and plain white design of this one. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it like so. And they also had these paper mache style pumpkins, which it just throws me back to my school art lessons, art days, crafts, and everything where we used to make paper mache things. Um, so again, yet again, this is the sort of thing that you could DIY, you could paint, you could decorate. I guess that's the intention with it. But I quite like the just simple brown paper design. I mean, going alongside something that is white as well, all the more so I thought this could look cute just side by side with something like this. So yeah, three pound that one was, but they did also have this pack of four mini paper mache ones at four pounds. So these literally are exactly the same as that larger one, but just a smaller version. You could pop these in a little bowl. You could maybe write F-A-L-L -L on them and have it kind of set out in a long narrow tray with some foliage so it reads out full. They also had loads of different plaques and wooden signs. I ended up opting for this one. They had quite a few kind of Halloween-y ones. I thought this one was really nice and simple. Could look good hung up on a door. Could look good kind of just stacked up and with this part hidden behind it just against a wall like in a kitchen for instance along your with your wooden chopping boards to have that kind of placed in front and this one was three pounds. I also picked up this for a little bit of filling within a bit of a DIY idea that I've got. So this was two pounds and it's kind of a natural 
creamier kind of ivory color as opposed to either a cheaper looking white or brown paper. Okay, these also were five pounds. So again, another one of the expensive items. It's a set of four pumpkins in this kind of hessian fabric. They're quite weighty actually, to be honest with you. I am thinking of just keeping these plain as they are as decor, but they were with the wreath making section. So I guess the intention with these is that you could DIY a wreath and kind of place these within them so that they fill out the wreath. But yeah, like I said, in a little bowl with some foliage or something, or even just on their own, I think this could look quite nice five pound for four is not far off a pound each so in my opinion really great value for money as is this you guys know or may know from last year i started collecting these little white ceramic houses for kind of a decor christmasy scene or ones that actually have fairy lights in but i picked up these this three pack it was only two pound fifty for three like some of the ones that i was buying last year were that price if not a lot more just for one so i thought that was an absolute bargain and then last but not least again in the christmasy section i picked up three plain white ceramic baubles yet again you could personalize with these with your names like we could have me tom and barney on this year which could be so cute but equally just a plain and simple white ceramic finish i love as well and these were three pounds so one pound each pretty good value for money in my opinion so yeah that is everything that i picked up so not quite a poundland haul predominantly poundland haul but i hope you liked this little bonus edition of some autumn new in bits i have picked up as well so thumbs up if you did Thumbs up if you do also want me to do some kind of an autumn DIY video. And I do have some previous season last year and the year before DIY videos for autumn decor if you want to get ahead of the game and watch those nice and early. I'd love it if you were to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys!